I'm Jason Ermey. I'm the Director of Implementation. I've been with Lean Logistics for just over eight years and uh, I love my job. I love coming in every day. Tom Murphy with the Implementation Team, responsible for our inter international team as well as our partner programs. Uh, I've been at Lean for seven years and uh, like what I do. My name is Anthony Cayley. I'm an Implementation Manager and I work mostly with North American customers and I've been with Lean Logistics for 11 years. Yeah. Project management. <laughs> for me, the project management side is, is, first of all, knowing all the tasks that you have to perform and who the, the responsible parties are for each one of those tasks, and then being able to fit that within the timeline that you've given. And I know that's project management 101, but there's a lot of players involved. Internally, we are that core group of the knowledge, the expertise of the TMS. Uh, development looks to us to help specify and design uh, new new functionality. Uh, they look to us from many services, customer support to be that uh, that educational arm for them and to increase their their knowledge of the of the TMS um, and even from the sales pre-sales is to be that gauge of are we selling within the means of execution so you know from from what we touch uh, we touch every every element of or every business group within the organization. Implementation is, is what I refer to as a kind of the spearhead of the organization mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know we, we have a lot of responsibility uh, of not only deploying the software but providing a good reputation and, and a good perspective to our customers of our culture and our and our company and the value we bring. So when, when someone asks me what what implementation means or the skill sets that we need, we look at four things, right? Mm -hmm. We look at customer facing skill sets, project management skill, just general business what I, acumen or business uh, business know how, and then also technology and transportation. So the project management piece is you have to be very meticulous, uh, make sure you're hitting your deadlines. There's a lot, there, like I said, there are a lot of tasks that have to be accomplished. And what we are as implementation managers, we have to manage those tasks and drive to make sure that they're completed by the, the right people um, and that they're done on time. But the one skill set that I see um, that is the, the value add that our team is able to bring is that customer facing skill set which isn't on time and on budget, but it's managing the relationship with the customer, be able to exude confidence and walk them through the, the change that they're going through by deploying new technology. And I see that as a big, big important skill set. The business and technology, I think, is important uh, to tie it all together because it's where you as an implementation manager can provide that best in class solve, drawing from your experience not only in the industry, but also from the technology and your understanding of the, the TMS itself. It's always interesting trying to trying to talk with IT teams and if you don't have that frame of reference of how IT works I mean Anthony you've got some background from a coding standpoint and development standpoint Nermi you've got experience with other systems so do I and, and be able to, to talk to IT people and relate it to their requirements mm -hmm. is a key part to the project too so yeah, you're, you're more than just implementing a process into our TMS you're a proponent of change in that organization based on to your point the the experience you have with so many other verticals and industries and different ways to do things, you become that go-to person for an entire organization of your experience, your expertise is above and beyond often their project team because of your, your knowledge level. Yeah. yeah, and it goes with a lot of work, mm -hmm. right? And, but it's a lot of reward. Um, there's a lot of travel involved in some cases. Uh, but again, it's getting out, seeing those new companies, seeing the new new customers, making the relationships. And I'm continually developing and learning as I go. Every every implementation, every company I work with, I learn a little bit something new. From all the industries that Lean works with, you know, you're going from the oil and gas industry, the grocery, the comp uh, consumer packaged goods. Mm -hmm. So you get to see how all those businesses run and meet the people that run those businesses. So that's a big benefit for me. It's definitely a rewarding role, right? And that's something that I get out of the job is the, the ability to walk through a process in you know, a 14-week implementation, 16-week implementation with a customer, build that relationship with them, and, and really gain success by implementing change. And still, five years later, I'm t still talking in the same context that we're on my first implementation because we did develop that rapport and, and we're able to change things in the company. And, and that's the kind of rock star feeling. Yeah, I think that's one of the biggest benefits of the position is uh, the ability to meet a lot of people. Um, and do a lot of different with. things. Yeah and, yeah, and another thing that's huge for me is the problem solving side of things. Mm -hmm. You're, since you are that face of lean logistics, 
from an operational and you're the bridge to the tech side, you're, you're being asked the questions. How are we going to do this? Mm -hmm. um, we, we're running into this issue. Um, you get to provide best practices. Right. So the problem solving side of things, every day you're being asked questions and you have to figure out, given their unique business process, how it fits within our system and, and, and then you'll be able to deliver that solution. And a lot of the times it's very rewarding because they're like, oh my gosh, we would have never thought of that. Definitely team environment. Mm -hmm. um, you know, being on the road or traveling and, and as you said, having to go back and rely on someone back at the office. It definitely requires team and mm -hmm. team building, and everybody that I've met and that comes into the organization is is that way as well. And everybody's more than willing to help out. When you bring on somebody new, everybody's offering. You know, let me let me know if you have questions. Helping them, and training them, and working with them, and that goes from top down, mm -hmm. and that's big. That's big for for any company. It's a place where you go where you're you're not feeling like you're you're at work. You're more when you're in the office and you're. Uh, on those down times, you're, you're hanging out with friends. Right. Yeah, there's not a, we're a professional organization that doesn't require you to always be to the professional acumen, I guess, no, in the office. Yeah, we're, we're results oriented. Right. right. And I think everybody here gets the job done, and that's the expectation. Mm -hmm. And uh, everybody from supervisors down, executive level, um, understand that mm -hmm. and value the results that we're able to provide more so than if we show up with a tie every day.